Welcome to Kalani International Raceway for round one of the Toyota Gazoo Racing GR Cup. A couple of seasoned campaigners, some new rookies, and a couple of brand new media joining us, along with some new cars. But to take us through the changes, let's catch up now with Toyota South Africa's Rion Esterhazen. So of course, the big change for 2024 is the adoption of the GR Corolla, which is our latest GR product. So the media challenge, they are at the wheel of the GR Corolla circuit spec edition. And then the change with the other, with the, the junior side of GR Cup is they've moved into the GR86s that were part of the media challenge last year. So here, of course, we now have two complete different platforms being the all-wheel drive turbocharged GR Corolla, which plays in the hot hatch space from a production car point of view. And then the GR86, which is an ode to the old school principle of a rear-wheel drive sports car. Lightweight, agile, rewards momentum driving. So two very dr different machines, two very different driving styles. But I think it furthers the message of the GR product in terms of this racing DNA that is filtering through to the production cars um, and the full-fledged GR models and what we're doing as a motorsport brand as a whole, expanding worldwide into different categories and expanding on the local front into things like Super Cup and of course then GTC and our Dakar and rally efforts as a whole. So, so really there is GR presence in most formulas now within South Africa. And along with that, there's a very big push from a development program side, having the GR Junior Academy that really starts candidates off at a young age in carts and, and gives them now the stepping stones to progress into full-fledged motorsport with things like GR Cup, Super Cup, GTC, Rally, and then off-road racing and the pinnacle being Dakar. The media challenge has worked exceptionally well for us. Um, the coverage that they've brought to the table, not only for GR Cup, but for circuit racing as a whole in South Africa, I think everyone involved in the sport, um, from manufacturers to, to racetracks, sponsors, suppliers, etc., everyone benefits from that. And yes, we're year three in terms of the media challenge. We have a new pool of drivers this year. Um, and some of them, it's the first time they've taken to the track in competitive motorsports. So steep learning curve. But if I look at the smiles and the, the faces, the rush of adrenaline that they're all experiencing, I think they're very much enjoying it. And, and it's really just about giving motorsport in South Africa more coverage, more reach, and showcasing it off to the people. Yeah, 2024, back in the GR86 Cup. Uh, but this time around, I'm not uh, media. Uh, the media, that was quite, you know, we're all amateur drivers. But now I have a season under my belt and I've moved on to a more competitive side. Still in the 86, but now with a lot of the uh, uh, drivers that Toyota are developing. Uh, some from the GR Junior Academy, some karting uh, competitors. Um, Darvi van der Merwe, who comes from Polo Cup. And yeah, so the field is much tighter this year. I need to dig a lot deeper for the pace, but I'm up there, qualified P3 in the wet this morning. Um, so at, at, the, at the front end, not quite at the sharpest end, but uh, we're there and uh, in the dry, the pace is there. So I am looking to maybe uh, push into second, maybe a win. And yeah, just getting better and better as a driver. Yeah, so my name is Hannes, not a real racing driver. We all pretend to be racing drivers for this weekend and uh, fortunately for the, the rest of the year. Um, I present uh, the TV show called Latville on CakeNet. We've been running for about 20, 21 years or so. Over the years we've had lots of opportunities to drive different things, but this is the first go at real, real racing and real cars against real competition. Uh, yeah, wonderful to have the opportunity in these fantastic cars. It's amazing. You know, yesterday we did about 30 laps or so. The brakes hold, everything holds, you know, and they stock, stock standard cars. Too. So to be able to go that fast and uh, in standard cars is just fantastic. And uh, yeah, let's see, we've qualified this morning in the wet. It's all dry now. First race is about 10, 15 minutes away, uh, but about time to get ready. And that is a great synopsis of exactly what's about to unfold on the circuit. So uh, stand by for action now. At the front end will be the 86s. Darby Fanamava has put it on pole position alongside Nikki Zafaris. So Chabo Mashiga, as you heard, is in third ahead of Ryan Nyka. Ryan Nyka will be looking to push through. He's just got lots of experience in these cars. Not in the 86s, but in this category. And then in the media challenge, let's keep an eye out and see who's going to be able to take the first media challenge race in these brand new Toyota Gazoo Racing Corollas.
Welcome back to Kalani International Raceway. Toyota Gazoo Cup Racing in action now. Down towards turn one. Sajabo Mashigo into second place there behind Darby. And then side by side action. Ryan Marker trying to squeeze through there on Nico Zavaris. The two of them having a little bit of almost a touch. Not quite getting together, but uh, very close. That's the kind of action we expect to see amongst the junior drivers at the front end. You heard from Sachaba now stepping up from the media challenge as the media challenge head into turn one. And it's the citizen car who's sitting in about seventh place at the moment. So a little bit of work to do there for Bernie Halberg. Look out for Alex Shahini as well. Kumbi Machaki having a good one as well. And look out for Sean Nurse. Sean Nurse, I think, might be the class of the field, Jay. He's probably got a little bit more experience in terms of race action and proper race action on track tracks around the country than most of the rest of the media challenge drivers. We go on board here with Hannes Fisser stepping away from in front of the camera and getting behind it now and uh, the camera right behind him as well as they head down into Dabs for the first time. Hannes having a fantastic run so far. You heard from him in the opening interviews just how much fun these cars are to drive and considering that they are stock standard machinery that they held for the time out on circuit in the practice sessions is definitely uh, boding well for a great season. We've seen how well these 86s have been and in the hands now of the junior drivers, or the more experienced drivers, I should say, then maybe the media guys, they're certainly going to be pushed to their limits and maybe possibly over them. As we start to get into the mix of it, there's Sajaba Mashigo under a bit of pressure there as Nika Zafiris tries to come and close down on him. In the media challenge, further back, Sean Nurse, Hannes Fissa and Shahini going at it. The man from Car Magazine making his debut and looking for a chance to possibly be on that podium in debut. It's always good to see. Watching for those uh, emergency lights coming on. That shows you that the stock standard systems are working in those cars as well. The ABS system kicking in and those emergency lights come on. Running wide off the track. Oh, that's a little bit high and wide there for uh, Kumbi. I think that might have been Kumbi just running a little bit high and wide there as they went out of turn one. But uh, managing to bring it back on track again. It actually was Shahini. Beg your pardon. So the, the red and orange catching me out there. Shahini is the man who ran wide and he manages to get back on track. So fortunately not too far behind. But uh, this media challenge is certainly going to be one to watch out for throughout the season. Very interesting. Uh, obviously all members of the motoring media, uh, so we all know each other very well. Um, that's in uh, road cars on launches during scenic mountain passes, but not necessarily on the racing track where we find ourselves in at the moment. Yeah, very interesting. Uh, yesterday was interesting. Many of us didn't know the track at all. Uh, this morning, Quali was in the wet where yesterday was dry, and now we're racing again in the dry. So it'll be a very interesting day. Yeah, I'm sure Yaka Funamava is enjoying every aspect that Toyota's given him the opportunity to have here as part of the Gazoo Racing SA Cup. At the front end, though, the business end of the field, it looks like it's getting a little bit tighter. Triple seven, Sashabo Mashigo just trying to get through there and find a way, but uh, Zafiris has uh, retaken that second place. So Zafiris now moving up into second place now, and Sashabo Mashigo down into third. But the battle's still going to rage there between the 86 drivers in the media challenge. Let's catch up now with Car Magazine's Alex Shahini and find out how his debut has gone. First season in the GR Cup. Um, it's the first season for four of us on the grid. So I think for me personally, it's about uh, development and growth um, in terms of learning how to tame a race car on track, something like the Toyota GR Corolla. Um, but the fact that it's an all-wheel drive, um, all-wheel drive hatchback, quite dynamic, uh, fairly straightforward to drive, does help. Especially when you run off track, hey, Alex? <laughs> <laughs> trying to go the uh, the World Rally Championship route there and maybe join the 1-2-3 the that they took at the very first outing for 2024 for Gazoo Racing. But this is Hannes Visser and he's late on the brakes. That is impressive bit of driving there from a man who's usually got a camera in his hand or a microphone in his hand. Oh, maybe yours truly or maybe Dave Peterson need a chance at this one too. Get in there and uh, give Hannes Visser a bit of a run for his money. The run for the money though for second place is certainly up for grabs. First place is done. I don't think anybody's going to catch Derby as I said. The experience certainly coming into the forefront there. But a big battle on here and a big dive on the inside from Shachaba Machigo. Trying to find a way through there on Zafiris. They come out of turn two and out of Castle Corner. They are literally wing mirror to wing mirror. That is good effort there from uh, Sachaba Mashigo. But it is Safiris who's going to possibly have the line here into turn three. No, here comes Sachaba. Sachaba dives up the inside of Mashigo up into second place now. On their tail is uh, Dylan Praji, the man from Zimbabwe. Haven't really mentioned him much, but what an effort there from the young Zimbabwean. Up into the top four in his first outing. And definitely a man to watch out for in the future of the 86th Brigade. That is for sure. 
media challenge head out of turn number one heading towards turn two the fight on is Hannes Fisser in second Shahini is up to third place now Benny Halberg has dropped down to fourth and Kumbi Mach uh, Mitch Kazi is up there as well into the five spot but a bit of a gap that's opened up between those Corollas right now I think they're still getting used to the cars I'll get a little bit closer as the season kicks into full effect and we'll see this type of racing that we're seeing from the 86 boys this is super stuff. Look at that. Dylan Prodigy around the outside, trying to find a way through. Bring Ryan Nyker along for the ride as well. That is Sichaba Mashiga putting a wheel on the dirt. Might have slowed him up ever so slightly now as he starts his run onto the main straightaway. And he could potentially be under threat there from Prodigy. Oh, running off the circuit. Two cars. Oh, Shaheeni's gone off again. And is that him just trying to squeeze through there? I think possibly on Hannes Fisser. Fisser is running high and wide. And Shaheeni's on his inside. Yeah, there it is definitely on. Jakob and Mava joining the party as well. But I can tell you something. It's going to be between Fissa and Shahini there for second place. Sean Nurse has literally wrapped it up. There's no issues there for him. But some serious battles happening there as well. And uh, Bernie Halberg, he's just watching from the sidelines and just behind there going, yeah, I want to be there, but I'm not quite there yet. That is the man who leads out the media challenge, Sean Nurse. It'll be easy to pick him up in the, uh, the Hulk colors there, the green colors. And uh, just behind him, a little bit further back, in fact, in very similar colours, and sometimes catching you out ever so slightly, are the yellow colours of this man, Hannes Visser, back on board with him into turn two at Castrol. So a nice run here so far for the Latvian man in second place, but can he catch Sean Nurse? I don't think he's going to be able to. They head down into turn three, into Damps, using the all-wheel drive, and uh, that is the man who has led the, led the race basically from start to finish, and is slowly but surely closing in on the back end of Kent Swartz at the back of the 86 Brigade. May be able to catch him by the time the chicken flag comes up. We'll have to wait and see. But a, certainly a superb battle that has raged at the front end of 86s, but a nice one as well here for Hannes Fisser's debut, as well as Sean Nurse. He has been in one of these cars, not in this particular car itself, but of course been involved in the media challenge on previous occasions for Toyota Gazoo Racing GR Cup. Nurse got it all sorted out as he comes out of Castrol and out of Fostron corner now, down in turn five. Oh, look at this, 86s are not done yet. They are all over each other, heading towards turn one again. And there is going to be a huge, huge fight on. Darby van der has basically got clean and clear and ahead of everybody else. But in fact, they've closed him down slightly. But that could possibly be Darby just backing off ever so slightly here in the closing stages. And maybe just starting to do the, the necessaries to start cooling that car down for race number two. Darby van der is the man to beat though. And Nico Zafiris and Sachaba Mashigo have been found wanting in this first one. Can they find something special possibly into the closing stages here and bring Dylan Praji and Ryan Nyker up for a challenge for a podium position in this first race of Gazoo Racing SA Cup? The 2024 season is going to go to all of the circuits around the country. We head to Kyle Army for the next round. And can you believe this? I just enjoying the fact that we have got an international contingent here with Dylan Praji from Zimbabwe joining us. He's a multiple champion in Zimbabwe. He spent a lot of time on circuits up there. There's only two of them up there, but he spent a lot of time there learning his racecraft, and he's now putting it into full effect here and potentially going to give Ryan Nyko a run for his money. Oh, hello. On to the circuit comes one of our media challenge cars. I think that might have been Yako at the back of the field. Looks like he might have had a bit of an issue. Yeah, it looks like it's the 13 car there of Yako van der man from the Citizen, unfortunately, just having some issues and had to come off the circuit. But uh, to the line and possibly to the chicken flag. Here we go. Darby van der for the first win of 2024. And he takes the flag ahead of Nico Zafiris and Sechaba Mashigo in third place. Dylan Prachi wins out over Ryan Nyker. And then it was Ken Swartz making up the top six in the 86s. Sean Nurse takes the win for the media. He wins out over Hannes Fisser, Alex Shahini, Bernie Halberg and Kumbi Machikazi finish up there just behind him but great effort there from all of our drivers in Gazoo Racing SA Cup round one and the first win in the GR86 league goes to Derby van der going very good um, no the scores are super awesome to drive um, usually I drive front wheel drive and this year it's rear wheel drive so it's uh, definitely something new but um, yeah I'm enjoying it um, Tiara is doing an amazing job with the cars and it's uh, super fun to be part of it um, yeah we look forward for the season to come and uh, yeah see what happens for the rest of the weekend Let's get a quick word with the Sechaba Mashigo who finished third. Oh, that was such a fun race, man. It was like really close competitive racing. Uh, the kids are fast, but <laughs> I think when I realized it in after the second corner that, okay, these kids are really fast. So I had to bring my aim, A game. Um, made a move at one point. We were side by side. Didn't quite make it stick, you know, just had to leave some space. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a really nice race. Hopefully we can get a better result in the second one. 
but I'm, I'm cool with third. Started third, finished third. That's, that's fine with me. Winning the media challenge, Sean Nurse. Yeah, I, I honestly couldn't have asked for a better race. I had a good start. Uh, got that sequencing right for once. I've done this uh, one season before and I had my struggles, but I seem to have it dialed now. Just uh, found a comfortable race pace and stuck to it. And every time I kind of saw Hannes behind me, maybe catch a bit on a lap, I try to push that lap just to maintain a bit of a gap. So it will be the similar strategy uh, for the next race. So hopefully we can grab the, the win there as well. But it was awesome. Second place for Latvia, Hannes Fisser. Oh, it was awesome, eh? Uh, we got a bit of work to do. Sean is really, really quick. We could sort of stay with him, but, you know, every time you screw up a corner just this little bit, then he edges away, edges away. And once once he breaks away, then uh, there's no catching him. But at least I could still keep him sort of in sight. I know uh, where I can try to be a little bit quicker going forward. But anyway, I think it's going to be a good tussle between me and him going forward, hopefully. But I need to pick up the pace a bit. And in third place from Car Magazine, Alex Shahini. I'm happy. Um, obviously, first race of the season. I think the bottom line with what we want to do here as Car Magazine is see how much I can evolve personally as a driver. So I think being the best of the rest uh, uh, behind Sean Nurse and Hannes Fisser, two uh, seasoned race drivers that have a little bit of racing under their belts, I'm very happy with. We still got one more race. We've got two races today, one more race coming up in the, um, in the afternoon. So hopefully I can hold this position for the rest of the day. Nothing like getting some information from Supervan to get you into the next race. Join us after the break for race two of Gazoo Racing SA Cup. Welcome back to Kalani International Raceway. The crowds are here in full force and loving all the action that has been provided here at the first round of the Extreme Festival. It's race two now of the Toyota Kazoo Racing SA Cup and the 86 League will lead things out. Is it going to be Darby Fanamava who's going to look for a double victory here on the day? Or can Sechaba Mashigo and Nico Seferis give him a bit of a run for his money here in the second heat? It looks like it's going to be a little bit closer than Sechaba Mashigo wanted there between himself and Ryan Nyker as they went into turn one. On his tail is Dylan Praji. We go on board here with Hannes Fissa as he goes side by side with uh, Sean Nurse. Race one winner into turn one. Trying to stay with Nurse this time after the advice he got from Supervan. So I'll find him over giving Hannes uh, a little bit of uh, tips around the circuit. Maybe he can put those into good practice now as they get into race two here in the media challenge in these GR Corollas. Absolutely amazing all-wheel drive cars and considering the fact that they are stock standard, Shahini just said to us, it's great to see how quickly you can get to grips with a stock standard car that's turned into a race car and give you this much amount of fun because of Toyota Kazoo Racing. Now as they head down in towards turn three, this is the media challenge and Hannes Fisser has not got an answer there, as you can see, to Sean Nurse's pace just yet. Maybe he needs to work on a little bit of race craft and uh, keeping the car smooth as possible. It is Shahini just ahead there and looks like uh, coming through there for the third spot. It might be Kumbi Machakazi and of course pushing hard there will be Bernie Halberg. Look out for Yaka van Amerva trying to make up ground. He had a little bit of off-track excursion as we saw in race number one. Sechaba up the inside looking for a way through on Nico. Has he got past? Yes, he has. So the triple seven moves up in a second place there and Nico Zafiris down into third. So not quite working out there for the first part of the race, but certainly Darby van Amerva has got his head down and is getting away while the other three, four and five fight behind him. A little in-house fighting slows them up ever so slightly. Dylan Praji slowly but surely starting to come into the mix as well and closes onto the back end there of Nico Severus. So Severus, Praji, Nika in the mix there as well. Ken Swartz, much better start there from Ken Swartz this time in race two. So it's basically uh, the other six drivers fighting, leaving Darby Funamava all on his own. Some. As they go into turn two, Praji putting the pressure on there. Ryan Nyka is uh, feeling that pressure as well and starting to return the favour. The two of them fighting hard and really it's fantastic to see, as I said, with that little bit of international feel. The uh, Zimbabwean coming down into South Africa and uh, fighting hard, getting an opportunity to be part of this 86 league. And definitely something to watch out for. Speaking of watching out for, it looks like Hannes has taken that advice because uh, Sean Nurse has not pulled away as much as he did in the first one. So whatever Supervan gave as advice to Hannes, particularly here through Sorrel Sweep, seems to be working out nicely for Fissa. So the Latville man is closing things down there on Sean Nurse and uh, Nurse is not having it as plain sailing as what he did in the first one. Shahini still hangs on for third place in the car magazine machine. So no worries at all for there for Alex Shahini. And I think at this point in time, it's Bernie Halberg, yeah, who's up into fourth. 
So a couple of changes there in terms of uh, the way things uh, ended up in the first one. And here in the second one, it's a lot closer between Nurse and Fissa. So he's already learnt a lot within the space of two races. Could bode well for what's going to happen at Kyle Army at the next round. So Davi van Amava, triple seven is Sashaba Machigo looking for a second place. That could possibly finish him up in second place overall, depending on the gap between himself and Nico at the end of this second heat of racing. Behind that, Nika, Praji, and they're all fighting hard. And it looks like it's going to be a, a three-way fight for what is going to be fourth place on circuit. This is a little bit of a change up there. You can see just a slightly different line through turn two there from Nico, trying to find maybe a little bit of drive out of the corner to close things down there on Sechaba Mashiga. But as I said, as much as Darby Funamav has got huge amounts of experience in racing and race craft, the amount of experience that Sechaba Mashiga has got, particularly in these cars, having won the media challenge last year in these cars, will bode well for him to keep out the attack coming from Nico. He'll know exactly what the capabilities of these cars are, having been here twice in the past in 2023 in the 86s when they were still part of the Media Challenge. The Media Challenge, of course, now changing up to those Toyota Corolla GRs. And there's a bit of a charge on here, and I can tell you something. Zephyrus means business. He goes high and wide. Watch for the cutback. Sachaba sees him coming. Goes high onto the banking, trying to shut that door slightly. Praji now on the attack, trying to get through on Nika. Nike does the same thing. Sees him coming, goes up onto the banking and just shuts the door on Dylan Praji's uh, progress to try and get a little bit higher up than what he is. He'd love to be in fourth place by the time they wrap things up here in the second heat. Down onto the breaking point into turn one. Holzhoek, once again, a wide line coming out of the third place car. And Nico Zafiris is trying everything he knows. Different race craft, different abilities, different strategies into certain corners. Trying to maybe catch the Chaba Mashigo out there. Shigo's been in a couple of big battles in these cars, though, so he'll know exactly how to soak that pressure up. Hannes Fissa closes the gap down again, even a little bit more on Sean Nurse. So Nurse is not having it as plain sailing as what he did in the first one. He comes under breaking for Castle Corner. That's turn two. Fissa in second. Shahini still in third place, but a long way back from these two. It's nice to see that the gap, though, has come down pretty dramatically between the first two cars on track as we go back on board here with Hannes through the kink and down towards turn three through Damps. Little lift. Let's have a listen to how he goes through here. Ooh, those Dunlops starting to squeal a bit. And the wind is also picked up here, so maybe that's also having a bit of effect on these cars. So you can see, even though they stock standard race cars and they're starting to squeal those Dunlop tires, the wind factor must be a major one, particularly on the braking point down here at the end of the straight. And it makes you be able to brake a little bit later onto uh, the braking markers than what you were able to do earlier on in the day. So Chaba's doing that. But around his outside. Oh, is that Zafiris trying to find a way past? Yes, he is. Nico Zafiris now wing mirror to wing mirror side by side as they come across the line. But Sachaba's got a slightly better drive and he might just have the advantage heading down towards turn number one. Zafiris is on the inside line. It's going to have to be very late breaking from Sachaba Mashigo to keep Zafiris out. And it is. It's exceptionally late, but he manages to hang on. He's got the outside line. He knows if he holds that outside line. Oh, a little bit of, bit of battle scars there as well by the looks of things. So there must have been a touch between the two of them. That outside line becomes the inside line for turn two. And that's exactly what Sachabo realized. Didn't have to fight him too hard into turn one because he knew if you hold that outside line, there's a possibility he'll be able to still squeeze through. Here comes a bit of a change up as well. Shahini being caught in the closing stages there by the seven car of Bernie Halberg. Halberg and Shahini going at it now for third place on track in the media challenge in the GR Corollas. That's a great job. That's fantastic to see. So not only do we see the, the gap coming down between Nurse and Fissa, but between Halberg and Shahini as well. Battle scarred car moved up to second for only one corner coming out of Malmesbury and Sorrel sweep. And it's returned again by Sechaba Mashigo as they came out of Cape Town. Darby Funamava on his way for a second victory. Two out of two. Great start to his campaign in the 86 League. He will take the victory, winning out over Sechaba Mashigo, who reverses the role there for second and third between himself and Zafiris. And it's Ryan Naka, Dylan Praji, who'll come through for the top five. Sean Nurse wins out the media and beats out Fissa, Shahini Halberg and Yako Funamava. Yeah, it was a great weekend. Um, since practice uh, at the beginning of the, the weekend, it went very well. Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to Tiara for the opportunity. Um, yeah, feeling very good about the season so far, so let's see what we can do for the rest of the year. But um, yeah, looking forward and very um, yeah, pleased with how the weekend went. A couple of battle squad cars out there, but the winner of the media went to Sean Nurse. 
I couldn't have gone better today. The car was fantastic. I've just had target lap times in mind, looked at the Garmin every lap and just tried to hit them every time. Didn't worry about what was happening behind me, whether I was being caught or whether I was pulling away. It was just pure strategy to stick to my lines and, and just stay out of any trouble and did it. So couldn't be happier, honestly. Yeah, lots of fun. Glad to have survived it. Um, this old body survived uh, two races of eight laps each today. I thought it was going to be a lot worse, but anyway, uh, we managed to get through somehow. Didn't manage to get a win yet. We're getting aging slightly closer to Sean, but he's very quick. Um, so, all, you know, hats off to him. But uh, yeah, next up, we'll go so, do some homework and uh, see if we can catch him. Hey, podium, bro. So it is the end of a very long Saturday right now. We have just finished our second and final race of the first round of the GR Cup for 2024 and incredible emotions. Uh, P3 after a little bit of a tumultuous day with the rain in the morning and the qualifying in, that condi in, in those conditions. So very happy to be here. The front runners Sean and uh, Hannes were in a league of their own. So I'm hoping that the rest of the field and I can close the gap to them in the next few races so that it's a little bit more competitive throughout the pack. Um, our next race is in Kailami uh, in mid-April. I will have to confirm the exact date. But I think it's the 13th or the 14th of April. And that is obviously home turf for myself and actually most of the guys here. So it'll be a fantastic race as well and we'll see you guys there. From Kailani International Raceway, yes, Alex Shahini, we head to Kailami. We'll see you on the 13th of April.